Dana White. <laughs> Dana motherfucking White. Dana Andrew Clive John White. The third. Decided to get on his Twitter and annihilate our dear Papa. Annihilate our dear Papa with this legend of a tweet which says hashtag UFC 300 laughing face emoji. Nothing else on there, just that. But the video itself was really interesting because you might see a familiar face. What's up, guys? As we rolled into UFC 300, uh, the MMA experts weighed in on what they thought of UFC 300. And for all the fighters that were on this card, when I said this is the greatest card ever assembled in the history of combat sports, this is what the media thought of you guys. UFC 300 makes no sense. Is any... <laughs> Did you see that? There's Papa. We know him. We know that guy, right? Leonardo DiCaprio fucking meme. Look at what they put underneath his name. Podcaster as occupation. Podcaster. Brendan is a former top 10, top 15 UFC heavyweight. Knocked out fucking Mirko Krokop. They still use that highlight in some of the scissor reels for fucking UFC fights. But they're referring to him as a podcaster. Not former UFC fighter. Not former UF MMA fighter. Podcaster. Not even stand-up comedian. Because obviously he quit. Kinda. Or not. Or he did. They're calling him a podcaster. Dana fucking white strikes again. That smarmy tomato head of his. That fucking always red light on dome of his. One once again. Consistently. Rubbing salt in the wound that is Papa. And ignoring all the calls probably from Rogan to leave him alone. I'm sure Rogan's probably had a word of him. Hey, leave him alone. He's very thin-skinned. It hurts his feelings when you attack him. But Dana doesn't give a Scooby-Doo fuck. He keeps on rubbing the salt in. So now, he did it again by referring to Papa as a podcaster. But I do like this video because I was going to make a video on it, but I got lazy, where I was going to go back and see all the things Brendan said about UFC 300 because he was weirdly very vocal about not liking it before the card was even finalized. And I couldn't understand why. I get it was like, you know, the preparation for it seemed a bit lackluster or underwhelming, I understand. But the quality of the fight card was never going to be in question. They were never going to let 300 go by without making it a banger. And if anything, um, without the card being fully formed, or confirmed how could you really hate on it anyway it was a strange position to have he was really going hard at it but i f i suspect my hint my suspicion is i don't think he actually believed the card would be shit i think he was just trying to parrot the things he heard other talking heads commentators say but to be different he kind of ramped it up a bit he added a bit more salt on it he put a bit more spice to his rice I think some other people had their reservations about UFC 300, whether it'd be good or not, but he wanted to stand out. So he tried to start saying, you know, what he said. And plus, Brendan's got history with the UFC. He's always felt like the UFC, you know, is, you know, they don't know what they're doing. They just kind of wing it. That famous line about, you know, he said to Dana where it's like, oh, I can do your job. You can't do mine type of thing. I think Brendan really does believe that. I think he really believes he can do a better job at matchmaking and at running the, the UFC as a CEO better than fucking Dana White. So a lot of that kind of, you know, leaks into some of his criticism because he's got a bias because he fucking hates them. But we're still a bit overboard. And I'm glad the UFC are calling him out on his shit because he didn't, that's the thing about Brendan. He didn't admit this. He didn't admit that he was wrong on the UFC 300. He just acted like it didn't happen and just kept, just kept on going, just kept on steamrolling through. He never acknowledged that he called the UFC 300 completely wrong. He said it'll be shit. He, he even said fucking what? He said fucking um, Gaethje would win against Holloway. But well, then when Holloway won in, in epic fashion, he acted like he fucking always knew. So I, I'm glad the UFC hold him to task. Like, uh, uh, let's remember. Let's fucking remember what you did and what you said. Any fight on this card 300 worthy? Now, 
This is the most diabolically. Hey dis- yo, big up I am Sin. Long time no see. What's happening? Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Long time no see. What's good? Yo, big up Eduardo Madeira. What's happening? What's that thing? Called? Pa- <laughs> Who said that? Funny donor. Pathological redard is fucking incredible. I love that. That's what it should be on the deepest thing, isn't it? Pathological redard. Disappointing UFC 300 announcement ever. Who the fuck is Jesse Merrill? Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's uh, Jess on Fire, isn't it? Oh, is that his name? Jesse Merrill. <sighs> Look at that grill, bro. How's your nose bigger than your chin? Have you seen that with somebody? His nose looks like it's bigger than his chin. How's that possible? I love how the animation look. Look at the diff. Look at that's how you know somebody is very delusional about what they look like. Look at the animation of him and look at what he actually looks like. <laughs> look at the animation. Look at how, look at the strong jaw, the little nose. Look at him. His animation actually has a receding hairline. He doesn't really have much. Anyway, yeah, he's got a fucking absolute snoozer on him, isn't it? Absolute snoozer. Look at that. It looks like some yams, isn't it? It's been ever. It feels kind of thrown to- Really? Is that HGH? Let me see that. Big up of Valdez. Does H G make your nose bigger? Changes to the face may cause the brow bone, lower jawbone to protrude. The nose and lips get larger. Acromegaly. Acromegaly is a hormonal disorder that develops on your pituitary gland. I can't with Baba. I think he has for real, but big ass for keeping us entertained. Yes, you know the deal. Big up, I'm sin. Appreciate you so much. Long time no see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I don't buy the CTE argument. I think you're. I think people that say Brendan's got CTE, you're giving him an easy cop out. I just think he's redacted. I think he's fucking dumb, but not like in a bad way. You know, like you grew up with some people you went to school with who are just dumb. It's not their fault. They're just dumb. I think that's the same with Brendan. The CTE thing is an easy cop out. He's just dumb. Dumb, which is okay because I think he serves a purpose, especially in America with, with, with it being the American dream and thing, right? He's been able to achieve so much in spite of how dumb he is. Um, But yeah, the CTE thing, I don't buy. No CTE. He quit fighting long ago. He doesn't spar anymore. Um, he lives a pretty cushy life. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy the CTE like the CTE thing. Um, the guy is just da 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 dumb. But bigger by sitting Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, let's continue. What, what video are we watching again? Oh yeah, this one. Together. It doesn't feel like the culmination of something big. We were continually told that it's gonna knock your socks off. It's who's this? Oh, is that um, is that um, this is uh, Ariel's Ariel's co-host, right? Okay, I didn't even know his name. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what his name was. Big up, Eric, though. Gonna be amazing. What did Dana say about this? Right. We're gonna blow their socks off. I wanted my jaw to hit the fucking ground. I did expect a little bit more from the company. Oh no, to BC. Blow us away. Nobody got blown away. Nobody. Fools. By the way, um, don't you find it is funny that they're featuring these people? Because none of these people are prominent or really that famous. Unless I'm a casual. The people that they're focusing on aren't super famous. They're not like super but then I then again I d I don't know. Who's the most well known fucking MMA or UFC journalist or pundit person? Luke Thomas, I guess. Ariel. Who else? Robin Black? I don't think... I don't know. So, it's weird that they mention this, people, because they're not that well-known. And also, I think it's all taken out of context, kind of. They were kind of, you know, right to call into question whether or not UFC 300 would be good because the card wasn't done yet. In You know, the card wasn't done with any real notice and shit. We need people that know the sport to be running the show because this is pathetic. UFC 300, the worst promoted fight card. Rudy Rodriguez Chermat. Who's this? Is he? Is he well known? He's got a lot of he's got a lot of dye in that beard, isn't it? Fucking hell, bro. He might as well have painted it with fucking acrylic. That's a dark beard. I wonder why some guys don't dye their beards based on what their actual beard, what their actual hair color is. Why do they go for like the the level above? Like if you, whatever your tone of color is, or just get the. Hmm. I bet there's a reason for it, but I don't know why. Guys that dye their hair like 
a weird tone of black that doesn't match their actual real hair color. It's like, why would you do that? Never worst put together fight card ever. Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway for the BMF title, which I think is the corniest nonsense on earth. Wait, oh no, the corniest nonsense on earth. Well, it is a corny title to be fair. The, the fights are good, but actually, what, what was that one fight BMF title that was terrible? Wasn't that one fight terrible? Wasn't that the fight um with fucking um Jorge Masvidal? Am I remembering that one? Didn't Jorge fight for the BMF title once? It was a shit fight. That might be one of the worst BMF fights, I think. Zhang against Zhao Nian. China's going to get all excited. And I don't think anyone else really cares. UFC 300 will be a disaster. Are you kidding me, Dana White? The most <laughs> monumental card that there's ever been. You've had a whole year to prepare for this. Aren't you trying to make sales? Don't Who's Lucas Tracy? Fair play, man. To be fair, this is a bit, you know, these are some minor people. The, the UFC are like, Dana's really petty, man. This is a weird dunk. These guys aren't that well known, like, and they had reasons to be, you know. Yeah, this is a funny, this is a, this is, Dana's fucking a legend, though, in a weird way. Imagine a CEO moving like this, being this aware of these minor characters on the outside saying some concerns about your organization and you're fucking remember you're literally writing down names <laughs> dana's got time dana has time for everything he sees and no oh he's so petty it's so fucking dumb he's like he's petty <laughs> it's insane you want people to actually buy the pay-per-view this ain't it as far as i'm concerned they're quoting reddit posts it's just a regular decent paper. I was really happy for Jury, by the way. I fucking love Jury. I was really happy for him. Nation watching two Chinese fighters competing for UFC gold. Insane. Yo, that waist was on waist, didn't it? That waist was on waist, baby. Jury Entire nation watching two Chinese fighters competing for UFC Yeah, she went ham on the fucking waist trainer, innit? Fucking hell. Imagine your waist looking like that when you wake up. Can you imagine how that life must be? You're just looking down and you just see flatness. Imagine what that must feel like. It must feel kind of nice, isn't it? <laughs> it must feel really fucking nice. Just wake up one day, just be like, my body T. <laughs> yeah, this is still the legend. One of the, yeah, fucking. So yeah, fair play. Um, big up fucking Dana for being the petty bastard that he fucking is. Love to see it. Um, sh but surely his time could be best spent doing other things. But maybe this is what makes UFC so fucking entertaining. Do you know what I mean? It's a big production, high level production, you know. But they also got a CEO in charge who really loves this petty shit, you know. <laughs> it kind of makes it fun. But yeah, he did that. And then um, fucking obviously Papa saw it. Brenda saw it and decided to do a little fucking tweet of himself. Let's see Brenda here trying to combat what fucking Dana said. Um, and then obviously he said this. What did he say here at the bottom? He says, why are you bringing up old shit? Fair play. UFC fight was amazing. Fair play, you know, because you got called out about fair play. I think he made a ton of edits to this as well, didn't he? If I'm not mistaken, it looks kind of edited. Or maybe it isn't. Oh, he said, oh, you see me as well here. <laughs> Whoopsie. I also tweeted. That's awesome. He said, respect. That's awesome. So I'm not too sure if this is a diss. I'm not too sure if he's dissing Dana. If Dana's dissing here. Or if he's actually doesn't have a problem with a guy. I don't know what's going on, really. But I expected to see like a real long page, a long caption from fucking Brendan going at fucking Dana. But we're not going to get it because, you know, he squashed the beef pretty quickly. But I wanted to see that, man. I really wanted to see it. I really did want to fucking see it. 
what's the reply saying here? Uh, the subtle shade of calling Brendan a podcast not for me, you'll see fight or something. Then he didn't pull the receipt. He sent you an invoice. Weird move, Bondana, though. Sure, caught in 4K. Touche, podcaster. You know why. You're the most unknowledgeable person in all of MMA. Yo, that is a. In all of MMA, full stop. In all of MMA, punto. You suck, bro. Your viewership is dying. Of course, you shared this. Probably the highlight of your life. <laughs> To be fair, your body did change his tune at 300. Say what you want, but yo, that card did not live up to the hype. It was, oh, shut up, you idiot. Because you and my, many others went off on the UFC 300 card, no reason. The card was phenomenal for when it was announced. But so many people, included, yourself included, doubted it. It was solid, but if Max doesn't do what he did, shut up, you idiot. Honestly, MMA fan, UFC fans are kind of ignoring, annoying, isn't it? They are some of the worst opinions, man. I think it's a bit like football. Football's the same thing. There's so many dumb football fans that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Pretty sure he was just trying to point out how dead wrong you all were. That's all about it. it could do, to be fair, as an event gets closer, you warmed up. Oh, shut up. No one cares. Anyway, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, he seems to turn. Oh, so the awkwardness was awesome. Yeah. I choose Dana over Brendan any day. That's the thing, Eduardo, isn't it? Dana's such a piece of no. Dana Brendan is so widely disliked, even though Dana is a noteworthy and documented and high profile piece of shit. People will still pick Dana over Brendan. That's that's how you know your how what how not well regarded you are when people will still side with Dana even though he's got a history an extensive track record of being a real scumbag people will still side with Dana over Brendan fucking wild isn't it absolutely wild but yeah the beef is over then I guess I guess the beef is squashed but I wanted to see more back and forth but I think you know Dana kind of stopped it on the head maybe he got a text from fucking Rogan telling him to fucking chill out but either way I wanted to see more 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 but we're not going to get it we are not going to get it.